everyone! Eternia here! And today, guys, we're finally back for a proper video! I'm so happy. We're going to be doing the Organization 13 Demix event. So, unfortunately, I had started recording and there were some complications. So, I've already done the first five missions. But I'm going to go ahead and go back and just do them over again, just so you guys can see them. And honestly, I probably don't need to just because these are so incredibly easy. But I want this to be a proper video, so we are doing all of the quests. But with that being said, guys, uh, I'm probably going to be posting the moon up video before this one goes up and in that video I just kind of explained um, where I've been again and this time it wasn't completely due to work well it partially was but basically um, I went on vacation for almost a week and that was the week where Zephyroth EX and the Hades Cup and all that stuff had come out so, unfortunately, I wasn't really able to make a proper video on that. Um, I was with my friends the entire time, so there wasn't really a chance for me to work stuff. But, like I mentioned in my Moon Gym Cup video, um... I did pull from the Zephyroth EX banner um, 10 times. I did not get him. Um, I'm honestly not surprised. I hear the drop rate was uh, pretty terrible. Um, there was somebody who actually posted a video where they did 60 pulls and they did not get a single Zephyroth EX. So that's how terrible the pull rate was for Zephyroth. But with that being said, I did want to take some time to discuss the Demix event here. So basically, um, all of these are timed events, which means you need to get to the end as quickly as you can. But, the problem with these is that they're a little bit easy. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, because that means that everybody can get the medal. But, a little bit of challenge would have been nice. At least enough where everybody would be challenged, but still be able to get the medal. And, the thing is, the reason why this is so is because it's completely unchanged from the Japanese version. And the global version of this game started with Marluxia, but the Japanese version had started with Demix. So we are finally just now getting a year-old medal, basically. And because of that, he is not as good as the rest of the organization B medals. And because this is a year old quest from the Japanese version, it's incredibly easy because we have gotten so many um, new, stronger medals from this point. And even at this point, one year ago in the Japanese version, they did not have all the medals that we do now. So that's why this is so incredibly easy. But on the plus side, um, once uh, we get to our anniversary of the organization events, the uh, Marluxia's month in uh, November, we should be getting what the Japanese version is currently doing with theirs. Which, they're basically re-releasing um, a few Organization B medals per day. Which is really nice, because that means that you can re-roll guilds and um, re-roll traits, things like that. 
So that, that's gonna be pretty cool, and hopefully the global version does that as well. Because there are a few Organization B medals. I really would like to either re-roll traits on or re-guilt, and I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing if the global version is going to do the same thing. But at the end of this video, guys, um, I am going to go ahead and guilt Dim XP, and I am going to roll crates on him, all of that stuff. And despite this whole thing being super easy, um, I am actually very happy that we are finally getting Dim XP. Um, he is one of my favorite Organization 13 members. Favorite, but um, Demix and Axel tied for second place in terms of uh, my favorite Organization members. So I'm really, really happy that we are finally getting something cool with Demix. <laughs> I feel like he is an underappreciated Organization member. I mean, I know a lot of people have some um, issues with him, especially because of uh, his boss fight in Kingdom Hearts 2. Which I think all I need to see say is dance, water, dance, and that will probably trigger a few people. But, yeah. I personally like Demix. Um, yes, his boss fight can be playing in Kingdom Hearts 2. But overall... I really like him. He He's kind of a dork, and I think that's why I like him, because he's a dork. And I'm not really sure where I was going there at the beginning. I should know this stage layout by now. I should know most of these stage layouts by now, because we revisit the same location so often. I should have this memorized, but I don't. What was the time on this one? Ooh. I'm actually gonna have to redo this. That's what I get for going the wrong way like a silly person in the beginning. Okay, so let's just go back in here. Let's go the right way this time. Actually, can I go up and take the shortcut? I can go up and take the shortcut, so... That would be the proper way to do this, is to go up and take the shortcut, instead of going the wrong way and then going and fighting all those enemies. But still, even if you did go down, you should be able to get the 30 seconds, but I would recommend taking the up path for that one. Honestly, I'm kind of glad that we're... Getting magic mirrors. Sure, there's been an abundance of magic mirrors lately, but there's still never enough magic mirrors for me. Just because there's so many medals that I have real terrible guilts on, um, I end up using a lot of mirrors all the time. Okay, so I guess there aren't too many enemies to worry about here, just running along. I didn't even check what time we need to get on this. Oops. Okay, so in this part, the enemies have started to become a little bit invisible. So I did have to fight one there. Nothing too bad. And there's the target. I'm pretty sure we made it within time. Um, it was probably like 60 seconds. Yep. Hey, I guessed right on that. So yeah, that was also relatively easy. I think, was that quest 7 or 8? So we're getting very close to the end of this. That was quest 7, so... Aww, 
I love that Heartless. It's so cute. So yeah, we're getting another Demix B medal in this one. Okay, so... He's gonna pop and finish off the flower there. I'm going to avoid him. Let's not get stuck on a wall like that. I'm very good at getting stuck on walls in this game. Okay. What was the time frame? 45? Yeah, I'll be fine using my Nova here. Maybe. Okay, yeah, we're fine. So, quest is completed. And we got another Dim XP from that. So we are getting super close here. And I really don't need to deal with the behemoth right now. Okay, so now we're going to be getting the Dimix hairstyle from this. And this Cerberus should be pretty easy to deal with. Yes, because it is only um, level 150. So, actually I should just be using my Nova instead of wasting buffs like that. But even without a really high Nova, all you have to do is just buff and then hit it with a Gilted Metal and it's basically going to be uh, defeated. Alright, so we got the Dimex hairstyle. And yeah, like, I, like I've like i been saying this whole video, guys, um, this is incredibly easy. So you should be able to do it just fine. Okay, and that was, um... Probably the most straightforward yet. Let's just walk in a line and hit the target enemy. Okay, all the other stages have at least been, you know, not a straight line like that up until this point. So that was the quickest one yet. I got that done in like, what, 10 seconds? Okay, well the objective was 20 seconds, so I guess it was intended to be easy. But still, that's kind of disappointing for being quest 10. Okay, so now we're on quest 11. I'm going to go ahead and just my sleeping lion blade here. Do I want this set up? Um, yeah, I'll just go with this set up. Okay, which direction are you, gargoyle? You're this way. Okay, Lion was a good choice. Even though it's neutral damage, I can still quickly just take care of these. Okay, so it seems like there's a lot of the um, balloon enemies in the stage. Oh, for a minute I thought that was the target. And this should defeat it. Okay, I see the target enemy down there. I'm not sure. For the get off the wall. 75 seconds, so there's plenty of time here. And defeated. So pretty easy, guys. That was quest 11, so two more quests, and then we will guilt Dim XP and trade him. 
So we have a morning star. I'll just go ahead and switch back the counterpoint, which this isn't even my proper setup, but I'm not going to it. Okay, for a minute I thought we were doing the straight line thing again. Okay, so I just decided to tap there just to climb. Okay, so it's gonna make me fight every single enemy it looks like, but that shouldn't be a problem. What is our time goal? 110 seconds, so we should be able to do this with ease. I'll go ahead and just use a uh, HD Wisdom Form Sora. And the target enemy is probably going to be shortly after this. Nope, we still have a small group here. Okay, so there's slightly more enemies than I thought here, but this still should be doable. Okay, there's the target enemy. So, Nova's gonna take longer, I'm just gonna use Nomine and have the balloon finish those guys off. And I believe we're good? Maybe? Maybe not? I think we're good. Okay, yeah, we are good. So one more quest. And it should be a level 200, right? Okay, so it's Possessors. That's gonna be pretty easy. Just gonna switch to my speed setup. Okay, and that's literally it, is the Possessors, so I'm just gonna use one buff and Nova and it'll be taken care of. I probably just could have actually, but just to be on the safe side, I decided to go ahead and buff. And I completed that in 12 seconds. So, yeah, there we go guys, that was it. We're gonna get Dim XP and the title number 9. So now we're going to go over to my medalist and we're going to guild him. So hopefully um, I roll something decent. Please wish me luck. <laughs> I know I'm not really going to be using him, but I really don't want bad rolls on him either. Which actually, let's go ahead and take a look. He deals 6 hits, inflicts more damage the higher HP. He costs 4 gauges, is only a single target metal, and only goes up to 3.48 at base level. So yeah, he's not exactly the best metal in the world. Okay, first trait. What do I want on him, thinking about it? Okay, well apparently we're wasting an extra attack on Dimix. I always get so upset when that gets rolled on a metal I don't need it on. Strength plus 1000, that's good, we'll keep that for now. Um, I would like to see um, either aerial or ground. Okay, well there's aerial. And now we're going to switch over to just magic here. There we go. Get him evolved. So now I'm just going to evolve these other guys here. Level them up. Sweet, I love it when you get that extra little EXP boost. Optimize. And cool, that one also got P boost. 
one more and then we can finish uh, treating and then guilting him. Okay, so there we go. Oops. Might help if I could hit the right thing. And there, there last one is evolved. So let's go ahead and level him up. Switch back to reverse magic. Okay, I think I'm going to go with, um, just because I know I don't have too many magic metals with ground. So that's going to be my personal preference here. But either one would be pretty good for him. And finally, the trait roll. Wow, 89 is actually very good. I'm actually very happy to do that. Okay, and we're just gonna skip that. And there we go, guys. That was the Organization 13 Demix event. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.